right? Sorry guys. Like I'm medyo I'm uh, I'm I'm a bit demoralized right now because what you're what you're about to view is uh is pre-recorded just for YouTube. Okay? Yung live stream supposedly whole day stream ko which includes the episode review, the live episode reviews and advocacy Friday. Wala. Um went down the drain kasi ang bagal. Talagang hindi kaya ng broadband ng Pilipinas ngayon ng live streaming. Kaya, what you're saying right now is pre-recorded. Uh, I have to rush this. Kasi, uh, I need to, uh, I need to, of course, to uh, put the finishing touches on, on, on the digest before Sunday. Before uploading this. Before pa- having this published on Sunday. Alam nyo naman, kasi ang episode reviews dahil natin is every Sunday. So, I, ha- I got a deadline to me. Well, uh, what did we see? What did we see there? Counterattack uh, or a rescue attempt? But uh, it's both a counterattack by the racers, right? It's a really good episode. It's a really good episode. Halatang part one, ng, ano eh, uh, Part one ng two-part finale. Halata sa takbo ng ano eh, Sa takbo ng script. Uh, actually, sa takbo ng episode. Talaga, takadun na putun. They were, they were rushing to, to the abandoned chapel. Kasi dun nga, dun nga, dun nga naglulungga si, yun eh, si Tarantadong Gil eh. Okay. Talagang, wow. Okay. I have never seen a, I have never seen a villain this vile since Dio sa Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Talagang, talagang demonyo ito eh. Talagang demonyo si... Demonyo si Gil dito. Talagang demonyo siya. Um, so that's how the episode ended. And wow. Okay. I, like I said kanina, it's a really good episode. It's a really good part one to a finale. Okay? Talagang hats off to... Hats off, hats off to PA Works for, um, for giving us uh, this kind of a finale. So the final episode of Apare Ranman, I think it I think has aired as of this uh, as of the making of this video. For sure, mga lifestyle, I am going to review that episode next week, right? So for this episode, two thumbs up, right? I've never seen again. Again, I have never seen a villain this vile in an anime, okay? this evil in an anime since. Uh, Dio in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Okay. Talagang he can be... He, Gil can be compared to Dio eh. Um, kung gano'ng kahalak... Mga, mga, mga halakang kaluluwa. Mga ganun. Okay. He's, he's right there with Dio. If you ask me. When it comes to the villain... When it comes to the aspect of villainy. He's right up there with Dio. And... Well... The script was well written. Okay. Yung flow ng story... It's not just um, it's not just the the main characters going going after the going after the boss uh, uh, the evil boss for uh, for a slam bang for a slam bang finish. No, it's not just it's not the one of the meal type. Like ang pinagplanuhan nila ito. Like pinagplanuhan nila. So again, Apareran Man episode eleven. At twelve pala twelve. Sorry, twelve pala. Say for 13 episodes nga pala ano, ang ang apare. Let me check. Ah okay, tama. Episode 12 na nga pala. So the finale is episode 13. So again, apare ran man episode 12. Two thumbs up. Proga on the real gun season 3 episode 24. Simply wow. Right, scenes, fight scenes were really good. Okay. Vintage real gun, vintage real gun, and well, script was yes, huh? Script was uh, script was really good. Smack talk, no, no, less smack talk. Eh. There, there was less smack talk. Only yung, 
yung dramatic na negotiation. So, yun. Doon lang sila nag-ano. Doon nila medyo pinakalish ng konti. So, to araw kaga ako ng Real Gun Season 3 Episode 24, two thumbs up. Right? It's a great setup for the finale. Kasi, uh, talagang bakbaka sila rito. Eh. Doppel, si Mikoto tsaka si Doppelganger. And it, wow, it's the first time I've seen Mikoto actually make uh, make a kaiju out of iron filings. Kasi yung kay Doppelganger, tagpit-tagpit, batot bakal lang. Eh. Siya talaga iron filings. Uh, lahat ng bakal na lahat ng bakal na pwede niyang turugin to sand. Kasi eh, alalahanin natin. Um, with electricity comes magnetism. Kaya, ang cool nga eh. Kung maga, yung kaiju na ginawa niya, nakakapag-railgun na ganun. Lakas! Kasi eh, may mga binato sa kanya mga gas tank eh. Yung talaga malalaki. So, yun ang pinanlaban niya. Talaga, one, it, it 100x her railgun. Yung, yung, yung main weapon, yung biggest weapon niya. Para mong win 100 times yung lakas ng rail, yung railgun niya. So, yeah. Again, to araw kaga ako ng Railgun Season 3, Episode 24. Two thumbs up. Can't wait for the finale. I just can't wait for the Season 3 finale. Which has, oh, I think which has aired again. Tonight. Okay, a few hours ago. So, no spoilers. Okay? I'm supposed to review that episode I'm, supp- I'm supposed to review the finale next week. Okay? No spoilers, please. Tokyo 7's episode 16. <clears throat> hmm. The duel scene was insane. Bakit? Kasi... Yung nakalaban ni Romin, madaraya pala. <laughs> yung nakalaban pala ni Romin, madaraya pala. Hmm? Kunwari, <clears throat> kunwari, ay, may, may dumi pala sa dual disco, hindi ako punasan ko lang. Yung pala, may kinakalikot siya rito, parang, uh, kumbaga sa, kumbaga sa family, kumbaga sa Famicom ng Nintendo, cheat code. May mga pinipindot siya rito, uh, in sequence, parang cheat code sa Famicom. <clears throat> to to return a particular spell card na ginagamit niya from the graveyard back to the spell and trap zone na naka-set na okay bawal yun that's cheating okay that is fucking cheating okay nagpasok siya ng cheat code every time na pumasok sa cheat code yun yun yung kumaga kaya lumalabas if you're if you're uh, if you're an absolute normie in the game, talagang lumalabas, nilulup lang niya yung mga effects. But no, may cheat codes na pinapasok na may kinakalikot sa to sa gilid ng dual disc. Bawal yun. Because of the entire dual scene, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 16, two thumbs up. Okay. I'll tell you why. It's not just because of the dual scene, but the flow of the story. Um, last episode, they found themselves on a boat. This episode, they found themselves back in the AI restaurant. Alalahan ninyo, ban silang apat sa restaurant na yun. Dahil sa, dahil sa kalokohan ni Gakoto nun. Okay? Dahil sa kalokohan ni Gakoto. So, and now, I think for the next episode, they'll be, they'll be in another place. Okay? They'll be in another place. So, yeah, maganda yung flow story. And, well, Yu-Gi-Oh! never, Yu-Gi-Oh! never comes out with a dueling, with a duel uh, that follows, a, that follows uh, a pathetic script. Okay? Nearly all the duel scenes in this, in, uh, in the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise are so fun to watch. Are either fun or hard to watch kasi because of the twists and turns during the duel. So, if you want a real emotional roller coaster ride when watching an anime, you just watch any, just watch any dual scene of any Yu-Gi-Oh show, of any Yu-Gi-Oh series. You will get your feel. 
I assure you. I guarantee you of that. Okay? I guarantee you of that. So they never feel so kumbaga na what well, personally nakakalata ako kung uh, ibang script ang ginagaw ang ginagamit for a particular scene. So the dual scenes probably all of them have their own have have their own script. A particular dual scene has its own script. Kumbaga um uh, a script within a script. Okay. Um, the dual scene was uh, nakalata ko nga eh. The dual scene was talagang had, had, had a script of its own. Had a script of its own. So, uh, I was really excited when I saw when I saw the duel between Roman and Arai. Okay. <clears throat> so again, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 16 two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. GB8 episode 11. Wow. I I hasn't I haven't been so shocked about the revelation in anime since well <clears throat> since Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal. Alright? Since Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal. Wow, okay. Nasa ako rito. Nasa ako sa revelation ni Yoshinaga. And I thought, why didn't you tell us earlier? Okay? Bakit hindi mo sinab Bakit hindi mo sinabi kagad? Na Why didn't you just come clean? Na Why didn't you feel accountable for everything that's hap- that has happened? Bakit ngayon lang? Kung kailan pinatay Kung kailang pinatay na namin ang sota mo. Sana natulungan namin. Diba? That, that, was, that was my mindset at the time. So, ay, ay. Lundum ko lang. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself, Yoshinaga. Ikaw ang punodulo ng lahat ng to. Right? Talaga, it was so shocking to me. Um, the revelation that was in episode, uh, in, was in this episode. Like, but it was a really good setup for the finale. Okay? Now the now the remaining four will have to deal with Yoshinaga himself. Kasi parang nag- nag-evolve pa nga eh. Nag-evolve pa. So, wow. Okay? Simply wow. The revelation was shocking enough. So, GB8 episode 11, two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <clears throat> Although the fight scenes were um, a bit, okay, a bit um, stymy, okay, medyo may, may pagpipigil pa ng konti. Pero, we probably won't see that in the finale, okay? Sensui, Kenroko, and even Hinotami now, kasi napatay na yung ano eh. Dahil yung Shinaga, namatay yung anak niya. Namatay si Ayame. Um, they're going to go all out on yung Shinaga. So, and the uh, script, well, yeah, <laughs> the script was well written. Okay? I did not expect Yoshinaga to to reveal something like this, to come clean like this. Pero, he came clean at a bad time. Kung kailang pinatay na ni Sensui ang, ang, ang Super Jibia na, na ano pala niya na, na jowa pala niya. So, wow. Okay. Again, GB8 episode 11, two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Can't wait for the finale. Just can't wait for the finale. I've, uh, I've actually grown to love this anime. Okay. Okay, Peter Grill and the Philosopher's Time, episode 11. <laughs> Vintage Peter Grill humor. The most one-sided battle I have ever seen in an anime. <laughs> Grabe. Alright. And this is probably the only episode where I did not see any breast exposure. <laughs> or even... Or even... Uh, or even see... The trademark Peter Grill lewd scenes. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm a bit disappointed. 
I'm a bit disappointed that uh, there was no breast exposure or even the lewd scenes Peter Grill and the Philosopher's Time is known for now. Pero, uh, I'm totally satisfied with this episode because it's a good setup for the finale, which will uh, which will feature that match between uh, Lisa and Antonio. Okay. So ang sagot, so ang tanong na ngayon, will Peter's problems be lessened if Antonio wins, or will they stay the same if will they stay the same if Lisa if Lisa hits? So ganun talaga. Talaga na tawa ako sa laban na yun eh. Yung laban nila Peter at Antonio. Wala, one-sided talaga eh. Parang pinag- pinagwagwagan lang siya ni Peter. So, Peter Grill and the Philosopher's Time episode 11. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Although, walang breast exposure or walang after sex scenes. <laughs> after sex scenes, wala. Wala talaga. Yeah, it's a really whole... I think episode 11 is the show's most wholesome episode. <laughs> Kasi wala breast exposure talaga eh. Wala. Na talagang... At saka yung... yung the bat, that battle scene, yung fight scene nila, wala, one-sided. <laughs> talagang pinakita ni Peter Grill ang kanyang pagiging invincible. Kung bakit hina, hinaha... Talagang he is married to... What's this? Okay. He is married to the grand he is he will be married to the grandmaster's daughter and four other women are after him. <laughs> they want <clears throat> they want to have sex with him all the time so that they can have his sperm. They can have his child. Okay. Now uh, if you're if this is the first time you've uh, seen an episode of Peter Grill now you know why. Ganun siya kalakas. Ganun siya invincible. Ganun siya OP. Alright, gano siya ka OP. So, again, Peter Grill and the Philosopher's Time, episode 11. Two thumbs up. Okay. So, well, I'm gonna have to, um, uh, I'm gonna have to end this uh, pre recorded message to you, to you guys. Uh, just as a way to make up for, for the internet debacle. But I will try. I will try it again probably well, this next morning probably at 3 or 4 a.m. So talagang walang interfere, talagang walang ano. Uh, I, I'm, I am praying na if I stream at that, uh, at those times later on, wala tayong magiging, wala magiging avedia, tuloy-tuloy ang stream natin. So, wish me luck guys, wish me luck. Super Hexeros episode 11. Okay. Well, um, the humor, typical Super Hexeros, alright. He, uh, and Joe, so, dito, dito, dito yung pinaka nakakatamang part ng episode na to. Eh. And Joe eliminates a, uh, a Kiseichu, but before, before na, namatay yung, namatay ng tulo niya yung Kiseichu, sinaksakan siya rito. Okay. He got stung. Eh, ang ability pala ng Isaichu na yun, pa sa lalaki, nagiging, magiging babae. At yung lawit, humihiwalay. <laughs> Alright? In Angel's case, naging weasel yung lawit niya. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Bigla tingin eh. <laughs> Nakonsus bigla. Imagine, imagine, imagine taking out an enemy like that and he suddenly turns to a woman. Di ba? It's a good setup for the finale. If, I, if you ask me. Kasi, all of them, well, all of them will now have the opportunity to wear their zero suits. May makikita natin sila ngayon, lahat. So far, ang, ang una pa natin nakikita was actually Enjo and Hoshi, en, Enjo's and Hoshino's. Okay? Silang dalawa. So, the rest, hindi pa natin nakikita kung naisuit nila. So, that'll be exciting. And, well, Ang talaga nagdala sa episode na to, yung unang yung nangyari kay Enjo sa unang part, alright? Wow! <laughs> atawa ko doon, atawa ko talaga doon. So, Super Hexeros, episode 11. 
two thumbs up. All right, two thumbs up. Well, I can't wait for the finale. I just couldn't wait for the finale. I say they're going to pay uh, the governor a visit. Ano kung pinaghinal? Ano kung ano kung kisayo hinala nila? I say me. I think there she has special features uh, na na nagsasabi na kisayo siya. So nakalata ng nakalata ng lahat ng hexeros, right? Now it would be it would be nice if the uh, if the Tokyo hexeros would also would also join in on the frenzy na na papagsakin ng ang kisecho ang kisecho na to na politiko right, that would be nice but again Super Hexeros episode 11 two thumbs up alright two thumbs up okay God of High School episode 12 What a way to uh, what a way to start the finale. Okay. Tamang hinala ko. Part 1 ito ng two part finale. Okay. Because well, God of High School deserves it. Kaya magandang setup ito. So, halata nga natamo part 1 ng part 1 ng isang two part finale ito eh. Kasi magkakamit yung magkakabit ng ano eh. Yung flow ng yung flow ng story ang pinutol right there when Jigal became a god. He became when he himself became a god. So, fight scenes, wow! Okay. Vintage God of High School. Okay. The script, really good. So, pinakita ko na sa inyo yung rating. But anyway, God of High School episode 12 by one. Yep, 12. Two thumbs up. Okay. Two thumbs up para yun. Kasi, well, magandang, magandang flow ng, uh, ng finale. And you know it's a two-part finale. Kasi hindi pa tapos ang, hindi pa tapos ang problema. Hindi pa tapos yung problema eh. Uh, everybody now has to deal with the, um, with the, with the now third god, Jegal. So how does Mori deal with him? Eh, nung ano pa lang, nung tao pa lang siya eh, alas uh, alas din niya alas din niya kaya alas din niya kaya si Jigal si Mori or was he just was was he just well I don't know ah huh? kasi or was he just sizing Jigal up so how can he size Jigal up now baka hindi nga siya makalapit ngayon dito eh so and Ilpio um syempre uh, napagod do sa laban nila ni Jigal he almost he was he was that close okay He was that close to killing Jigal. Ganon sa katit, ganon sa kalapit na. Kung hindi na, kung hindi na kaya yung yung talagang gulo. Kung hindi sila nasama sa gulo. So anyway, or or ni anyway. But still, God of High School episode 12. Two thumbs up. All right, two thumbs up. I can't wait for that finale, okay. which will air. So by the time this, so by the time this digest comes uh, comes out, it'll be tomorrow. Right. Monday kasi ang any ng airing na God of High School sa Japan. Eh. So you better watch that. You better watch that. No spoilers, okay? I still have to review that episode. <laughs> Please, no spoilers. Right, decadence finale, right? Pero um, I don't think the uh, I don't think the animators will uh, will have it come back for another season. So, kasi nakita niyo yung, yung final yung pinaka huling sequence niya. Basta you just just watch the finale of decadence and you you know what I mean. Okay? Magigess yung sinasabi ko ngayon. Overall, <clears throat> wow. Okay. I never thought Kaburagi would go that far just to beat this Gadol Omega. Talagang, talagang he he wants to he wants change. So, 
unfortunately, yun nga, it cost him his life. It cost him his life. And, yeah, it's a, it's a fitting end. It's actually, a, it's actually a really good finale. It's two parts siya. Sa akin na, it's a two-part finale. It was a really good one. Now, the final episode, talagang, uh, if this were the fi- the real final episode of Decadence, it went out, uh, it went out, it went out with a bang. It, with, it went out as one, uh, as one of the best animes this year. So, it's a good way to cap off, cap off the anime. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, pati ni Bida. This early. Okay, so, yun pa lang eh, yun pa lang sign na yun eh. That Decadence won't be returning for another season. Kasi pati ni Bida eh. How do you how do you move on now? It's a lot like um, it's a lot like assassination classroom, diba? Season three, namatay si Koro Sensei, right? Mga ka lifestyle. So that's when the anime ended. Namatay siya. But they released an uh, they released the movie. So kung baka nagreunion ng nagreunion ng mga ang, ang mga estudyante niya. But without uh, and, and in the final episode, nagreunion sila without um, Karma and Nagisa. Di ba? Kasi, nauna na sila doon. Yun ang naging focus ng movie ngayon. Okay, Kung baga, uh, kinumpal na lang lahat ng best episodes ng Assassination Classroom in that movie. Uh, just to reminisce. But, it's, uh, it's an indication that the anime is over. Okay, the anime is definitely over. Uh, so, ganun din dito sa Decadence. Kung baga, uh, there's no chance there's no chance that we could expect the animators to bring it back for another season like, ang tinapos sila ang anime na to but it was a good 13 episode run guys don't get me wrong mga ka lifestyle it was a good 13 episode run okay. it's a studio original alright so they're probably they're probably gearing up for other anime projects Especially, syempre, yung mga sarili nilang gawa. Alright. We will be expecting Studio Not to be back. Kasi, ang ganda ng, ano eh, ang ganda ng run ng, ng Decadence eh. Ang ganda pa ng story ah. So, they now show, they are now showing the world what they, what they can do as a studio. They don't, that they don't need, uh, they don't need to consult, they don't need to turn to, they don't need to outsource their, they don't need to outsource the idea, their ideas for a project. Kaya nila. Kaya nilang gumawa ng sarili ng project without even, without ever depending on manga creators, movies, TV. So, they're, uh, they want, they, they really want, they've, they have really proven themselves to be a, um, a true standalone animation studio. Not like, um, uh, a lot like Studio Ghibli. Pero wala pa sila sa ganung level ah. No, no. Mala malaki pa ang uh, I'm sure malaki pa sila bigas sa kakainin to reach uh, the level of Studio Ghibli. Okay. Pero they are getting there and they have they have proven themselves um, to be worthy of that position with this anime, Decadence. Okay? So Decadence finale to thumbs up. I think it's probably um, probably the best way to, to end an anime. Patayin yung lead character. Okay, the one who started this revolution. Yung nga, si Kaburagi. What a way, what a way to, uh, to end the anime. So, patayin yung lead character in, uh, in, in the most heroic. Yung nga nangyari. He did a, um, Kaburagi did a Koro Sensei there. Essentially. Okay. Again, Decadence finale. Two thumbs up. Thank you, Decadence. Thank you, Studio Not, for giving us a great anime. Alright. Thank you, Studio Not. Sana maglabas pa kayo ng ganong, mga ganong kagandang projects. Na, or standalone projects in you. Alright. The anime industry. Uh, needs more originals like that. Studio originals. Kasi nga anime eh. 
So you don't have to if you want to make an if you want to make an anime, you come up with a uh, very unique idea. You come up with a very good storyline and you don't have to depend on mangas, magazines or other external sources. Okay? Um, I think the animation studios should um, the, the any fledgling animation studios should follow nuts lead. Okay? With what they did with Decadence. Talagang they they carefully planned this anime out. Hindi siya ano eh. Kumbaga eh Mahalada mo naman kung ano eh, kung dinamadali ang isang anime eh. Makakalata mo eh. Mag, uh, the stories, the flow of the story per episode is boring. Kala mo eh, uh, parang uh, tinulugan, lang yung, tinulugan lang yung script, yung ginawa ito, parang gano'n. At hindi isinaalang-alang yung uh, overall mindset ng mga anime fans. Very important. Um, the animation industry really needs studio originals. Okay. So, in order for it to become a, uh, to still be a self, what's it called? This a self-sufficient industry. Okay. It doesn't have to rely on other industries in its uh, what's it called? This uh, in the culture, in, in pop culture. So. That's the legacy left by Decadence. And of course, uh, with Studio Not, well, now in, uh, being a contender now when it comes to studio, when it comes to studio originals, we're gonna, we ain't seen the last of Studio Not. We ain't seen the last of them. It pains me to, um, go back to pre-recording my episode reviews but um, I'm supposed to title this digest bad connection days too but I'd have I'd had enough of that negativity so um, I wanted to make it more positive so the thumbnail is like that we saying thank you to an anime uh, would be would be better because well uh, as you now know, decadence has um, decadence has ended, All right? And um, I well, I finally decided to to give the give this particular playlist, the episode reviews, um, a definite mark as volume one, right? You heard me, mga lifestyle. Volume one is now closed, and with the advent of the um, of the of the fall anime season, yeah, that's when volume two starts. So by the time we um, <clears throat> so by the time we review the remaining uh, the remaining animes of the summer, we'll also be um, we'll also be bidding them farewell. Actually. Six animes will be uh, will be bidding their farewells. Will be bidding their farewells uh, next week <laughs> uh, in the next anime in the next uh, episode reviews digest, of course. And we will be uh, we will start reviewing on uh, on our first uh, fall anime. All right, like I said before. Um, like I said in the last digest, it's a Chinese anime. And I don't want to give you the details yet, but um, I assure you, it's not going to be um, it's not going to be the highlight. Okay? It's not going to be the highlight of that digest, but the six anime that will uh, the six animes that will end in that digest. So yeah, it's a, it's a. Um, it's a it's a more fitting it's a more fitting way to um, to what's called this to promote that digest because well anime na anime ang magtatapos so by the time they by the time we review them and um, a lot has happened for volume one um, 
we've uh, when we started we, we started just like this we started just like this we pre-recorded it okay let me hold this one <laughs> we started with um we started with three animes okay then it became four then it became five it became six then it finally um, it finally became eight so the eight animes we're we're reviewing right now and of course um as per season a lot of animes um we bid farewell to some of those animes kasi tapos na. and we also incorporated um <coughs> b-rolls <coughs> we incorporated uh, reactions my reactions to those um uh to those episodes as b-rolls then we um instead of then i uh, i sort of grew tired of it we now gathered all my reactions for that particular episode and we um we compiled them all uh, we come we compiled them all uh, of sorts so <clears throat> uh, we this um volume one has went through a lot okay went through a lot of changes but i swear to you maha lifestyle I will find a way to I will find a way to make the episode reviews live again on Twitch. Okay. <clears throat> I was so disappointed this um, for the past probably two weeks now. Uh, but I won't let that disappointment stop me from from um, pumping out this kind of content. Okay. Here are my plans. Uh, here are my plans for volume two the the reviews and the reactions will now be two separate playlists okay so volume two of the episode reviews will also mean the start of volume one of the episode reactions okay so the reactions will also be in digest form just like the reviews so kumbaga the re, the, ep, the episode reactions digest is uh, a spin-off of the episode reviews digest i had to i just had to separate the two now because um this fall anime season we're going to be reviewing a lot of animes okay probably double the current number we have <laughs> all right probably double the current double the current number we have all right so we need space okay we needed the space we needed the um we needed the video real estate for the reviews so yeah so as a result i need to separate the reactions so i need to produce the re to put out the reactions as a separate digest so volume one of the um episode reactions digest my, may start um as soon as possible okay as soon as i get the um the live ep get the live episode episode reviews up again over at Twitch, okay. So, uh, so mga lifestyle from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for um, sticking out with me all throughout this volume one. Okay, I thought I would never pull it off. Okay, uh, as you know, I started out with just three. Now it's eight, and in volume two, it, we might expand to fourteen. Right, I, I already said the number. We all, we might expand to fourteen because we now have a lot of uh, room now for the digest, since uh, since the reactions now have their own digest. Okay, so that's my plan. But the priority right now is to um, is to get the live episode reviews going again. So I need I really need to um, I really need to master some uh, streaming apps. So, so that the, the transmission will be more consistent and it won't uh, and it won't drop on me while I'm talking. All right, it has happened to me um, several times already. This just today, four times. <laughs> so again, from the bottom of my heart, Mahaka Lifestyle, thank you so much for um, sticking out with me when uh for the episode reviews digest okay we now 
uh, close volume 1 and open volume 2. And of course, start volume 1 of the episode Reactions Digest. Okay? So, I'm praying that, you're, that you'll still be here. And I'm also praying that you will also follow me on Twitch. Alright? So, probably here. My Twitch username is probably right here. Alright? So, follow me right now. They're on Twitch for more details. Alright? Kasi, paminsan-minsan, nagtetest stream ako as to how uh, my settings, uh, how my settings will work in an actual stream. Alright? So, follow me now on Twitch. Thank you again, mga ka-lifestyle. Thank you so much.